This is a rose thorn, but what's in a name? Would a rose thorn by any other name still be as sharp? Let's botanize. Just like we have terms for leaves, stems, and flowers, botanists give different terms for different sharp objects on plants, depending on the tissue or organ that they develop from. There are three main terms that we use to distinguish between these sharp objects. A thorn is a modified branch, which you can see in the honey locust. A spine is a modified leaf, which we classically see in the cacti. And prickles are modified epidermal cells, which are the outermost layer of plant tissue, similar to our epidermis. And we commonly see these in plants like the brambles or raspberries. So how do we tell which is which? Well, we can tell what the sharp object is based on its structure and position on the plant. Because plants develop in predictable ways, that is stem, leaf, node, stem, leaf, node, and at each node a branch is produced, when we see a sharp object emerging at a node right above a leaf, we can be pretty certain that that's a modified branch or a thorn. You can tell that spines are modified leaves based on their predictable and geometric arrangement along a stem. And all spines subtend a node. In this prickly pear, for instance, the spines are actually quite unusual because they are not hard and sharp like most spines in cacti, uh, but rather are soft and green and resemble a more leaf-like appearance. Finally, you can tell that prickles are not spines or thorns because they're not associated with leaves or nodes. Rather, they're randomly distributed along the stem. And if we took a cross section of this and put it under the microscope, you would see that the prickles are originating from the outermost epidermal layer of the stem. So let's come back to the rose. We can see that the sharp objects on the rose are distributed randomly across the stem, and they're not associated with any leaf or stem base. This gives us an indication that they're actually modified epidermal cells, which means that they're not thorns at all, but rather are prickles. However, they're just as sharp. Ecologically, all of these sharp objects serve the same protective function against herbivores. However, it's important to distinguish between them to discuss their development and evolution. 